Hey guys, uh, I just got the call to, um, I guess uh, a landlord called me, said that a tenant ran over something out at the front of the house and there's water spewing everywhere. Uh, my, my guess is it's a backflow preventer. Um, you know, they're, they're elevated down here in Florida. They've got to be above ground. And uh, I'm sure that's what happened. They ran it over and broke it off. Uh, hopefully I can rebuild that one, stick it back in. Hopefully they didn't damage it, but I'm gonna head on down there. It is in Venice. My GPS says it's about 24 minutes from where I am. But it's a slow morning, so I'll go down there and uh, see if I can pick up a new customer. Probably a Craigslist uh, customer. Landlords are usually cheap as hell. And they don't go to the phone book. They go to the Craigslist. But uh, anyways, we'll get down there and see if we can't get this fixed. I am, I am more open to like digging a little bit when it's cool out and it's absolutely gorgeous this morning uh, in the 60s no humidity to speak of and uh, I'm ready to get it you know I like to work I like to work hard but I can't fucking do it I can't be tortured at the same time so I'm gonna head that way guys all right guys so i i made it to this job this fucking neighborhood man this place got hit hard my friends it looks like every house on these streets flooded man all the furniture's out on the fucking sidewalk it appears this this is the meter that's leaking most likely the somebody drove over this, pushed the box down and broke the PVC water service. That comes up right here. I don't think anybody's home. The landlord's supposed to meet me here. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? What what happened? This somebody drove over the water meter? Don't I don't know. know. I'm just a cleaner here. So can I use the bathroom in here? The water's off. I gotta go to the bathroom. Um, what, in, in this side it's no, off? No, I, yeah, the water's off in this unit. Uh. Alright guys, I think what happened here was the ground was really saturated. It looks like this whole street may have been underwater. Somebody drove over that meter box. Most likely pushed it down into the ground and broke the PVC so I can see the PVC I'm just gonna finish digging it up and see what I can do
Alright. Unfortunately, it looks like, which is kind of strange, this meter got some funky ass. That was a male adapter that snapped off. I'll have to get that piece out with an easy out. And uh, because I've got two fixed positions, I'll just make a swing joint and get it tied back together. The main thing I need to do is run a, ho a hose from the house next door, tie it onto that, this house and back flush this line so I don't inject it full of uh, the house full of sand fuck up all the cartridges so that's the plan man let's see how that works let's see here hopefully you'll see some water coming out I gotta I gotta get a washer hose Alright guys, I'm going to try to backwash this guy. I'm gonna try to backwash this guy, get any dirt out of it. So, I've uh, back flushed this guy, and I need to cut this so bitch right, chill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to get this this male adapter out of here which isn't a good idea I never liked them but some of these municipalities that's how they do it so I checked off make sure which one I need and oh that's not good maybe I can I'm hoping because of the the depth of that inside I can't get my my easy out in there so I'm hoping I can uh, it's always something boys See, I've already cut this once so that I can get shower nipples out. That son of a bitch is close, but let me see if I got another one. Alright guys, so I got, obviously I, I cut this one for something one day.
but uh, I've got an assortment here. I never, honestly, never had any good luck with these stupid things. Laying on my on my belly, fucking job. side's probably gonna fucking mail adapter too. Okay, so... I can't keep track of how many, what, what plan we're on yet. But, uh... Yeah. This is gonna come off. Never. Ouch. <sighs> they may have to get the county out here to fix this guy. It's got one of these goofy ass fucking things on the bottom of it. This is a weird situation. Oh shit. That ain't looking good. 
I wonder if the county's been out here and turned the water off to this fucking house. Hi right, guys. So just like I suspected, there'd probably be a male adapter going into this curb stop. Uh, I'm going to try to get this fucking contraption off. If I were smart, I'd just say, hey, you got to call the county at this point and have them come out. But I'm not. So I'm going to try to get this fucking thing out of this curb stop if I can hopefully it comes out then I can put a couple of meter spuds on this thing on this meter and get it back in but I'm gonna give it a try could get fucking ugly real quick right <sighs> This male adapter is already leaking, I can see. Uh, terrible way to hook a fucking meter up, but he's gonna have to call the, the city and then I can make the final connection. I do YouTube videos, man. Do you wanna be a YouTube star? <laughs> or you wanted your picture in the I, post I, office I, I actually do have a warrant for my arrest there you go state, there you go there you go okay i won't film you <laughs> anyways hey listen guys this uh this meter this issue where it stands still the county you can imagine is buried this guy actually owns this is a duplex he's paying the water bill and i got his permission to use a jumper hose and I'm gonna jump from the meter that's good, get water to this second unit, cap this line off, and when the county comes out and puts a new meter in and a new meter box, uh, I'll come back and make the final connection to this house. But in the meantime, I'll get water uh, going to, to that unit. So it's not without water. I think it's a good, uh, I'm happy that we're able to do that. Uh, I did have to take the the hose vacuum breaker off of the receiving house uh, but we're good and that's the plan man alright so here's the plan he's actually talking to a person <laughs> hey you feel like a robot hey I'm glad to talk to you so I, I called earlier about my um, you know, the water, the service line coming into my house, and you guys said I get a plumber. Well, the plumber dug this thing up, and the meter's crushed. Um, the curb stops good, but the meter's broke. Yeah, he says that you guys are going to come out, going to have to come out and put a new meter in. Okay. Yeah, there's, listen, sir, let me explain something yeah. to you. The, there is a male adapter that goes into the curb stop and it's dripping so that's on your side of the service but that's going to need to be repaired and then also the contraption that the water meter sits in is destroyed uh, i was able to just pick the meter up and take it off so the water is off at this point but the connection going into the curb stop is dripping uh, so that's going to need to be repaired and the box is crushed uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cap this guy off and then you know the service going to the house well, the still there proper. It's just, so let me, let me just real quick what I'm hearing so the meter is there yes the meter would probably be good you could probably the mail, the mail adapted through that is uh, damage and leaking 
the male adapter into the curb stop. And that the entire uh, protector box there has been destroyed as well. Correct, so yeah. Fell on it and that goes over. Yeah. Okay, so uh, if I could get the customer back, I just need to get a little bit of information so I can set this up to have somebody come out there and get this resolved. Sure. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. I know things are getting deep for you. Uh, hey, bud. I'm going to go fly quicker when it's busy. Yeah, I'm coming back out. I hear you. I like it too. We're all busy right now, so. We're all doing our part, that's all. There you go, man. He needs some information from okay. me. Sure, how can I help you? Alright, so... Yeah. Alright, so I got this cap glued on, so I won't get any backflow out of the house. I've jumped the hose. The pressure's not going to be great. Actually, got to redo this, make sure the hose is tight. But uh, yeah, I'm just jumping it with this line. I'll see if I got a bigger hose, but you know, it's better than nothing. And I turned the put the valve off going back to the meter. So at least they have water. Uh, hopefully the, the county will get out here today. I don't know, man. I, I'm sure they're busy as hell. All right, guys, so I'm done here for now. What I can do. It may be that the county, when they come out, they've got a, this, this male adapter on the inlet to that curb stop is leaking and it's going to need to be fixed and uh, they'll come out, put a new, uh, maybe be able to use this old meter, but get that fixed, see it dripping and they may tie it back in, but I've already back flushed that, I flushed that line to get all the sand out of it. Perfect. I back flushed it so if they hook up to it you won't get a bunch of sand Thank you. and then I had to change this out this one I was able to get the hose hose vacuum breaker off this one I couldn't say they, they set the uh, the snap off set screw pretty good so I, I just changed the valve out and uh, made a jumper I mean it's not the best pressure in the world but uh, it's better than nothing and I shut the valve going back to the meter so We should be good. Hopefully I've earned a new customer. Absolutely. Thank you. My friend He's yeah. one. He's a wanted man just like hey. me <laughs> All right, John, Have a great day my friend Hey, let me ask you where'd you get my number? Craigslist, Craigslist. Yeah. Five bucks man <laughs> Best five dollars I ever spent. This guy owns six houses, so he's gonna use me. Another customer earned. All right, guys. So that kid was pretty cool. Young guy, obviously doing well. He's uh, got six rental properties, and uh, seems like a real cool guy and uh he saw my ad on craigslist and uh gave me a call my cost of acquisition for that plump for that uh customer who owns six houses five dollars five bucks so craigslist is a good place to advertise you get to meet people that don't know you if you do a good job and they can see that you're honest and hardworking. You give them some extra cards and they pass them out to their friends. And that's how you build a business. And that's how you don't spend, you know, fucking $100,000 a year on advertising. And which causes you then to really fuck your customers. Uh, so keeping it simple. Uh, it takes time wisdom wisdom takes time guys see all these wrinkles in my forehead you know what that's from it's hereditary everybody in my family has them anyways all righty have a great day and i don't know boy it just seems like every fucking house on this street just has mounds of shit out in front of it, man. I mean, lots of furniture, too. This place, 
you know. Whoa, this is a dead end, man. This is a goddamn dead end. I'm, I'm getting the feeling this ain't the best part of town. You know what I'm saying? All these duplexes and shit like that. This old fucking. This looks like Pervert Park. Fucking Pervert Park. You don't want to get caught in this motherfucker after dark. show you all this damage man like I said there's a lot of furniture man this poor fucking place took a beating see this oops see that pine tree though they outlawed them in in Sarasota that big tall fucker you can't plant them anymore but look at this place this is some prime, this is some prime garbage picking shit, man. I may have to pull over. Look at all this stuff. I mean, what the fuck? If it's a brand new mattress, just cause it stinks a little bit, like mold, just buy a mattress cover. The fuck you think they're for? Hell. Oh, Betty Lou, she don't give a fuck. This place is trashed, man. Wow. We didn't even get hit hard, man. And it looks like this down here. This is not good, man. Lord, had mercy on these people. As bad as... This looks, boy, it could have been a lot worse. That Sanibel Island down there, my brother and his wife used to go down there every year. Or a lot. I'm not sure if it was every year, but uh, that fucking place is wiped clean, man. Bacteria, flesh-eating bacteria in the water now. It's hazardous. I'm just, I was going to go down there and take a look at it. I heard that flesh-eating bacteria. I was like, uh, maybe I'm on, maybe I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'll just stay here where it's safe. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Fuck, man, it stinks. I smell gas when I drove by that area. I could smell propane or something's leaking over there. I'm getting the fuck out of here before something blows. See ya. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful video. Unedited, uncut, by Not Ready for Primetime Productions. This is John Phillips signing off. Uh, have a great day. Just have a great day, man. Be nice. Be nice to people. Of all types. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is John Phillips. It's Friday. <clears throat> I've got a, uh, I've got a job I started yesterday. It's funny that I... Three days in a row, I got uh, calls for like leaky water services or problems with water meters and everything. So yesterday, I got a call uh, about a water meter. Guy calls me, he says somebody, it's a rental property, and somebody, uh, one of the tenants ran over something, and there's a geyser shooting up out of the ground. Uh, this was in Venice. So I went down there, and uh, somebody had turned the water off but uh it was a mess i dug it all up and and i wasn't able to repair it yesterday because whoever whatever they did they destroyed the the meter and the bracket and um so the county had to come out and put a new meter in 
Uh, they actually did that yesterday, um, only a few hours after I had left. And uh, so I'm going to run down there this morning and hook it back up to the house. Um, I did get video of it yesterday, so I'll add this, put it all together and show you what happened down there. Uh, but that's the plan this morning. It is Friday. If I do this job and uh, don't get anything else in today, that would be fine with me. My eyes are stinging a little bit. They were very red, so I put some uh, Visine, gets the red out. Uh, eye drops in my eyes, and man, it's stinging like hell. Um, that's not what I normally use. I use that refresh shit. Um, anyways, I'm having eye issues this morning, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna run down to Venice, get this water hooked back up to this duplex, and uh, hopefully that's it, man. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm here at this house in Venice. Got a new meter box that I need to install. Need to hook up that service to this meter. Should be pretty easy. I've got the water shut off here. There you go. That was from pretty quick service from Sarasota County to come out the same day and put a new meter in. Especially considering all the issues we got going on, broken lines and shit, shit happening. usually don't use these they they will have a tendency to split if you uh, over tighten them but uh, what I normally do is take a one inch uh, coupling and put a, a one by three quarter inch female uh, bushing in it so I got a lot of beef there, you know. Whoops. Don't want to lose that. Trick is to just don't over tighten it. You don't need to go crazy with these. That's gonna be good enough. I'm just going to use this long coupling. It'll give me a little more play.
under that meter. We'll let that set up. did put a jumper hose on that up there at the house because we did have a good meter here and uh, so I'll get that disconnected once I pressurize this make sure everything's good Good. I'm gonna backfill this and uh, get get the house back in service. Take. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this hose off. This is a little jumper that I used to get water to this unit while it was down. Close this off. Open this. Yeah, so we're back on street pressure. Alright, I gotta get this back filled. Put this meter in, this meter box. I'm not gonna bore you with that. Alright guys, so the discharge side of this meter box uh or the other side i don't one side's got a that's probably the discharge side but this side because of the way this water service is it's only fucking eight inches in the ground i need to put a cut in here just in case this sinks a little and somebody drives over it it's not going to break it so let me get that taken care of other side a little deeper. Get 
just to be safe, y'all. So, you want this thing not below grade so the grass can grow over it, but you want it kind of level and you want to be able to get to that curb stop and you want to be able to read the meter. So, I'm feeling good about this location. You can see how I gave a little more relief around these holes. Uh, hopefully that'll help eliminate an issue in the future. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bury this. And you also, I noticed looking at it like this, it's a little, little off center with the road, but I don't, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, guys, so I'm all done here. The water's back onto the house. Uh, I need to get my hose back. Uh, and then that's it, I'm out of here. This, the county did a great job getting out here quick and installing a new new style meter. That one, that damn thing was from when this house, when, how old is this place? Probably 50 years. Wow. This is like military housing. They had military bases here in Venice. That's probably, yeah. Oh, yeah, they had that air base. Yeah, yeah. Or Army Air Force Base, sorry. Yeah, yeah so. Alright, so we're done here, guys. And I'm hoping that's it for today. It's Friday. I'm going home, Jackson. Check this out, guys. These are the these are the FEMA trucks. The big old clam. I think he must be full. He's ready to take off. Let's see where this guy's from. Hey brother, where are you from, man? Wisconsin. Wisconsin, thanks man. You bet, not a thanks problem. Thanks for coming, you're gonna be on YouTube. All right. You're not wanted, right? No. Okay. <laughs> thanks for your help. Look at this motherfucker, boy. Woo. This shit, they don't play, man. Hey, thanks guys. But they come on my street when they show up on my street I'm gonna get that 50 fucking hot dog steamer out there and uh, hook these boys up I'm sure three guys could eat 50 fucking hot dogs anyways that's gonna be a wrap for today guys it's it's uh Friday and I think I'm going I'm going to have to go to my schedule's full. I can't do it till Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Have a nice weekend, everybody.